Good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel. Hit the like button if you like and uh, please subscribe. It does help my channel and I appreciate it so very much. Well, it looks like the flu season is coming around. I know uh, I talked to my daughter uh, last night and they have had it. Yeah, they had runny nose, like cold symptoms, you know, and just kind of tired and so I guess they had a touch of the cold and the flu. They're doing a lot better now. It only lasted a few days, probably about a week or so. But uh, in another day was significant ap aptitism in a Virginia school district. The flu is to blame. Over a thousand students missed school during the week of October 17th in Stanford County, Virginia, due to illness Stafford High at Stafford High School. Then by Monday the 24th, it was roughly 670. So a county school official said in a statement that the local health department had found that some pupils had tested positive for the flu. Uh, Sandra Osborne, a Stafford County Public School spokesperson, said they were working with the Virginia Department of Health and the Rappahannock Area Health Department. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Rappahannock Area Health Department. If anybody is from there, maybe they're listening saying, well, you're close enough, woman. <laughs> they have determined that many people have tested positive for the influenza. The good old flu, good old fashioned flu. They also noticed a trend in gastrointestinal testinal problems, uh, which the flu could cause, yes. After all school events and sports practices were permitted to resume on Tuesday, the 25th, the high school remained open. An interscholastic athletic contest were postponed though, Tuesday, interscholastic athletic athletic contest were proposed. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Osborne claims that the high school was cleaned thoroughly over the weekend. Well, that's kind of hard to say. Interscholastic athletic contest. Well, I'll say that real fast about 10 times. <laughs> Let me know how you come out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. They looked into the water fountains and the lunch services and found no evidence of these services were related to the diseases. It's just the old fashioned flu. There will be time for students to complete assignments that need to be completed. Now they called this a mysterious I don't know why they called that mysterious. They did, not me. So it's, it's just flu symptoms and cold symptoms, you know, change of the seasons. I get it four times a year, you know. I just got over mine. But now as uh, the fall starts to die out, and I might make a little deal here. Uh, where did I see that... Uh, Oh, on the 6th of November, daylight saving time that we all, some of us go through, uh, will be the 6th. It's on a Sunday of November 22, and uh, here in Iowa, we will go back an hour now. Yeah, fall back in the fall, spring ahead in the spring. Yeah, so, now my daughter, I'm not sure, but... Uh, they used to be an hour from me. They stayed the same time all year round. And um, I would always be an hour. And I'd get that so mixed up because, see, they work. And I would always be calling them when they were in bed, you know, at night. And so uh, it's confusing. I don't know why we all just can't stay on the same time. What is the problem? <laughs> you know me? I've got a lot of questions, but oh well. My mother used to tell me, if you don't ask questions, you don't learn nothing. Is that right? Let me know in the comments. According to the Virginia Department of Health recommendations, district schools should remain open and my, my mitigations efforts should continue. The school posted on Facebook 
that all events involving Stafford High School students may resume Tuesday following cons consolation uh, with our health department. This included extracurricular activities like clubs, practices, and after-school studies or test preparation. On Tuesday, the 25th, athletic competitions between the schools were postponed to minimize exposure to other schools. While athletic activities among Stafford, high school students may resume. Some students were reluctant, reluctant, reluctant to turn to school because of the widespread illness. Followed numerous kids calling in ill and describing similar symptoms on Thursday and Friday, the Rappahannock Area Health District announced Monday it that it was collaborating with the school system to examine a potential disease epidemic at the high school. The health district that, that since then, the school has reported that many pupils have tested positive for influ, influenza A, and more are experiencing respiratory and gastrointestinal symptoms associated with the virus. So it's, it's pretty much, you know, all over. And that's just the old-fashioned flu. Okay, let's see what else I've got lined up here. Yeah, so don't forget on the 6th, those that are in the switch time, uh, you'll fall back an hour from what you are now. And let's see here. Let's open this one up. Yes. You know, I'm 79 years old. And this was in my era. Rock and roll. Yep, them were the days. Them were the good old days. And those approximately getting to be my age or over now, we all remember them good old days. Nothing like these today. And it's called Last Man No Longer Standing. And I know you probably already read this and you know it. He called himself... The Last Man Standing, re reference to the rock and roll icons of which he was among the most. And Jerry Lee Lewis died last week at the age of 87. Bless his heart. He was the last in line of rock, rock greats whose records I played as a 16-year-old on radio station Rockville, Maryland. Lewis, all known, also known as The Killer. We know that one, don't we? We sure do. Boy, he could rock that piano. I've never seen another man other than Liberace. Remember Liberace? I never missed his show either. What a talent. What a talent. Yeah, he was preceded in death. I need to expand this just a hair because I do want to get this a little bit more here. But what a loss. But... He was preceded in death by Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Country Western, that's mine, and the Blues. Those are the three that are my favorite. Yes, I have did a lot of them. <clears throat> yeah, he called himself the last man standing. A reference to the rock and roll icons. I gotta move my camera over and hope I don't lose nothing. Okay, uh, and yeah, okay, he was the last line of rock greats whose records I played, 16-year-old disc jockey at a small radio station in Rockville, Maryland. Lewis, also known as the killer, was preceded in death by Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash. And uh, there was another one that I thought of too, but I can't right now. Uh, there's a classic picture of four of them taken at Sun Studios in Memphis, in December of 1956. They were dubbed the Million Dollar Quartet. I have to look for that picture because I don't have it. I'd love to have that picture. Lewis was controversial to put it mildly. After marrying his 13 year old cousin, remember that? While well, he was still married to someone else. Radio stations refused to play his records and personal appearances were canceled. To the extent he was able to overcome what was then universal regarded as a scandal and moral failure. 
It was a part of his music that eased his comeback. What a talented man. But there's a little bit of, you know, gossip right there about Jerry Lee Lewis, you know. And then, um, wasn't there another story out to where one of his wives drowned in the swimming pool at his estate? Seems like I remember something to that extent, too. Let me know in the comments if you remember anything like that. Yeah. And while his best-known songs are Great Balls of Fire, Breathless, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, and Not So Supple Appeal to a Woman to Engage in Intimate Activity with Him, Lewis had a fine country voice and even recorded gospel songs. Through his life and lifestyle were about his opposite gospel message as the behavior of another cousin. TV evangelist Jimmy Swagger. Swigert had confessed to an unspecified sin following publication of a story in Penthouse magazine that he claimed he had converted with a New Orleans prostitute, which he denied. See, we all got, you know, <laughs> what do I want to say, uh, back porch history? <laughs> they used to say, Mom used to say, though, about me when I'd come home and say something, you know, about somebody at school or something, she'd say, now, Betty... Clean off your own back porch before you start cleaning off somebody else's. Remember that saying? Yeah, my mom used to tell me that. And Lewis, another cousin, uh, Mickey Gilly. Oh, what another talent. Oh, my goodness, yes, Mickey Gilly. Was far less controversial, sticking with country western music and establishing a famous restaurant, Gilly's, in Pasadena, Texas. I wonder if that restaurant is still going strong. If anybody knows, just put it in the comment. I'm just interested. And Gillies featured a medical bull patrons could ride. The bull appeared in the film Urban Cowboy, starring John Travolta. Like Elvis, Lewis was a force of, na force of nature. I saw him perform live once near the end of his career. Little Richard and Chuck Berry were also on the program. Oh my goodness. While he was phoning it in, by then, occasionally, the old boogie-woogie style came through. Oh, yeah. And Wooly Bully. Remember Wooly Bully? <laughs> Remember that? Oh, my God, yes. And then, uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I just uh, had a recollection, you know, a sad one, that um, our surf ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa, which Mason City is only 30 miles from me, you know, and then the surf ballroom is about, what, seven or ten miles from there, uh, where Patsy Cline and the Wooly Bully Singer and them, and then they were killed in a plane crash as they left that night in a blizzard. I don't know why that pilot took off. You know, that's always kind of dawned on me, but you know, when you've got managers and they're pushing you to meet your shows and get done, Excuse me just a minute. Pause. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Telemarketers for Social Security. Oh, I'm so tired of them. I am just so tired of them. I get sometimes 10 calls a day. I have my programs. I don't need any other programs. And they're on that fast dialing situation. You know, and they just keep binging, 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 binging. Oh, gosh, I get so tired of it. And let's see, now, where was I? I was talking about Patsy Cline and all them, yes. Um, that uh, plane crash happened not very far from me. Yes, I never got to go see it. I wanted to go that night to the surf ballroom to see Patsy and all of them. You couldn't even see your hand in front of your face. The blizzard was so bad. And I just can't imagine why that pilot took off. I just don't know. Okay, then the bully woolly or the boogie woogie style came through. I also recall seeing him on Dick Clark's Saturday night TV show at the Little Theater in New York. Lewis wanted to perform great balls of fire with tubes on both sides of the stage that would shoot fire into the air. The fire mar marshal was called in to approve the devices, which some thought posed a risk to the old and probably highly flammable theater. I could understand that point. The stunt was approved, but firefighters stood by. 
and anyone who saw Lewis performed along with what looked like flamethrowers will never forget it. There's a video on YouTube featuring Lewis with Ray Charles and Fats Domino. Oh, God. Back up by Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards. It runs seven and a half minutes, and I defy anyone to sit still while watching it. Oh, brother, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I could boogie down to it, even at my age. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. Lewis was one of the many white performers who played with some called back then. Uh, I don't like saying that word. Let's just say black music. Yeah, as with Elvis, many uh, parents also labeled it the devil's music. Oh, yes. Yeah, my parents wouldn't let me watch Elvis. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No, that was not good. He wiggled too much. <laughs> but later mostly came to accept it. <laughs> oh, dear. Little Richard said white kids kept Pat Boone records on the top of their dressers, but hid his music and that of other dark performers in the drawers so their parents wouldn't see them. Gosh, Jerry Lee Lewis had style unique to himself. I'm putting on some of his records now on CDs, though I still have several 45s. I wished I'd have kept mine. Oh my goodness, do you know how much them are worth these days now? Oh, I wished I'd have kept mine. I used to, in my upstairs bedroom where I slept, in the farmhouse, my walls, I had Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, um, who was that other one that uh, was car racer and he wrecked his car and was killed in it oh my goodness what was his name I had him. Jimmy Dean no not Jimmy Dean uh, Dean uh, wasn't his name Dean first or last name oh gosh I can't remember it'll come to me later yeah it will but I had all my walls and I had a big bedroom I had pictures everywhere <laughs> I did when we moved out I couldn't take them with me you know I might have grabbed a few because I can't remember now so long ago uh, when we moved to town from the farm but um, I was very well taken care of if you hear a noise my kids are playing four-leggers here okay oh my goodness Jerry Lee Lewis had a style unique to himself I'm putting on some of his records now on CDs. Oh my goodness. And recall what it is like to be a teenager, to have been left breathless. Ugh. Oh now, will you boys behave? Cut it down. For heaven's sakes. Okay, people. This has been a long video. So I'm going to say I'll be back later. Okay. God bless you, and you are a blessing. I hope you enjoy this video. A lot of memories.